Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and we'll go back to um, the questions that have popped up. A lot of people have seen my video about my Toshiba, 10-year Toshiba laptop that has Windows 11. I've installed it with unsupported hardware, of course, and removed the uh, capability, so I show all of that on the videos. Um, and, of course, a lot of people came back with some interesting questions about the uh, the future of what it means in that laptop. The first question that a lot of people asked is, well, does it get security updates? Yes. Remember that Microsoft itself does allow unsupported hardware with its um, disk image that you can download on their website. So they also give you that possibility. Not as much as the one that you have with Rufus that removes really everything and verification, but it tells you that Microsoft itself tells you, look, if you want to try it on some machine that's unsupported, we can't promise anything, but you know, here's the image and you can do it. So if you download that image from the Windows website, Microsoft website, you are capable of doing a clean install and getting it working on older hardware. Um, does it get security updates? Of course it does. Microsoft does send the security updates. It would be really, really um, something foolish of them not to do so because that would mean that people would install a unsecured uh, unsupported software and get no updates so it become unsecure and then be a real threat to regular Windows users and be a real threat on the internet. So of course they do give you the, uh, the security updates. The other question is, so you get all the updates, everything's fine? Well, up to a certain point. Um, from what I see is that if you get to a new version, so on my old system I installed 22H2, which now gives me, you know, 24 months, basically gives me up to the end of next year, 2024, before I'll have to move on to a new version. And um, when you get new versions, so if you have 21H2 on a PC that's unsupported, I believe you're not being offered 22H2. And what happens is that you can go to 22H2, like I did, but you have to do a reinstall from what I've seen a lot of people told me and it seems to say that you know you don't get 22h2 automatically you gotta reinstall uh, so that's one caveat about it so it's not necessarily the easiest thing after a certain time uh, the questions that I get all the time also a, a lot of it since then is well could they stop giving updates at some point I don't think they will for a simple reason that they need to keep the system as secure as possible, so they'll have to send security updates. Uh, but they could, you know, uh, say that after a certain time, for example, they could say maybe this year at the end of the year, oh, well, this uh, 23H2 is uh, the last version that will work. Or you can't move on beyond 22H2 after this year. They, it, is, it is possible that they could do and take a decision like that. Personally, I think they won't because they know that they're blocking so many people and there's a lot of people that are mad. So they're just going to keep it like that. I think they're not going to move on that decision. And last but not least, for everybody that's asking me, well, you know, should I install this on my unsupported machine? Two answers here that I will have for you. If that unsupported machine is your main computer you use every day, Stay on Windows 10. Don't install the unsupported Windows on a machine that you need, that you use, that is your main computer or your only computer. Stay on Windows 10, you're fine. Where I see this much more is if you have a machine that has Windows 10 or a machine that is has maybe Windows 8 on it uh, and you just don't know what to do with it. Because, you know, like Windows 8, for example, just expired. Yeah, you could move to Windows 10. But if it's an extra machine that, you know, is not the main machine that you drive every day, I would say go for it and why not try it. 
you know, at the same time, you'll have hands-on on the new Windows 11 and see what it is and if you like it. And, you know, it might give you uh, also uh, make it easier for you to move on to Windows 11 if you ever buy a new PC in the coming years. But um, for a machine that is lying around, not doing anything, not a main computer, I think it's not a bad idea. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.